The Pardon and Parole Board denying clemency for death row inmate Richard Glossop. His ninth execution date now set for May 18th. Our Jordan Fremstead joins us now live with the latest, including what's ahead for those involved. Carl, there were many mixed emotions at today's board meeting. It really depends on who you talk to as far as how they felt about today's decision to deny clemency. And now everyone on both sides of this case will have to wait and see if Governor Kevin Stitt will potentially delay Glossop's death sentence for a fourth time. We have let a wound heal and the scab has been torn off again. Two families feel completely Happy different over. about oh, this decision. Clemency is denied. For Donna Van Trees, she feels she finally got the answer she's waited for. I feel like justice has finally been served after 26 years. Justice for her late husband, Barry, who was murdered in 1997. Prosecutors said Richard Glossop paid a co-worker, Justin Sneed, to kill Van Trees at an OKC motel. Sneed is serving a life sentence but Glossop is facing the death penalty. And I cannot even begin to express to you how agonizing of an experience that is to have to do with the one you love. Glossop's death has been delayed three times. After Wednesday's pardon and parole board decision to deny clemency, the decision to delay his May 18th death again sits with Governor Kevin Stitt. News 9 legal analyst Irvin Box thinks that will happen. I don't think Glossop's ever going to be executed. I think there's too much baggage, too much concerns about really what was done in this case. Wednesday, attorneys for Glossop filed an unopposed application for stay of execution with the U.S. Supreme Court. I'm not a murderer, and I don't deserve to die for this. Two families disagree on this decision, but they both share the pain. Honestly, we're victims as well. We've been in prison this entire time with this situation. In Oklahoma City, this is Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. Now, the governor has not commented. Meanwhile, Oklahoma County DA Vicki Behenna penning a letter to the Pardon and Parole Board ahead of today's clemency hearing, actually altering criteria for capital punishment cases. She outlined several guidelines saying the death penalty should only be used in the most egregious of cases, including those involving mass casualties or for offenders with a significant history of violence. Bahena continues in part, quote, Mr. Glossop's case would not qualify for the death penalty in Oklahoma County under these new guidelines. And News 9 legal analyst Irvin Box agrees, adding Glossop's case puts Oklahoma in a dark national spotlight. And she's right. I don't think in this day and time, had we repeated this crime, it was repeated today, that they would even seek the death penalty against uh, Glossop whatsoever. So it's, it's an anomaly, this whole case is. And I said everything about it is different. Box adds Governor Stick cannot stop the execution. He can only issue a 60-day reprieve or delay. Glossop has had three reprieves in the past.